you know that uh, in general, when you repair an engine, you say, I don't know what happened. I put new pistons, new bearings, new gasket, new, 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 new. The kit, complete. Well, the engine is good. The engine is running good. The power is good. But uh, in comparison with the other engine, new one, my rebuild engine is vibrating a little. The sound is not the same. It's good. It's running perfect. But uh, no sound the same like the original. The, it's not as smooth as the original. It's a, uh, it's a little, it's a little rough, no? Why? Why you think that this is the, the, the situation in general? Too not much. Balance. Yeah, yeah, because uh, because uh, the reparation was good reparation, but it's not a full reparation, full rebuild. Yeah, you know when 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 you see in a, in internet the uh, uh, caterpillar say, okay, we have full rebuild caterpillar engines with warranty, two years of warranty. They are like new ones because they repair the engines. They balance everything, and now it's, it's new. When the majority of the people on the street repair the engines, they only replace the pistons, the piston rings, the, yeah, they they do a, it's a good job, but it's not a, it's not a professional job. You understand? And uh, one of the, the things that uh, create the difference is the balance the balance of the crankshaft. Yeah. Nobody pay attention in the balance of the crankshaft and nobody pay attention in the crankshaft. Let me explain something. Suppose that uh, in this cylinder, in this piston, water entered in the combustion chamber and suddenly in the moment of the explosion, what happened here? It locked. It locked. This piston expands and locks. How much is the power here in the, in the explosion? A lot. Especially in this one, no? What happened in that moment when this piston expands? What happened here in the bearings and what happened here in the crankshaft? Okay, the, the force that exists on it. The crankshaft received the maximum force so and try to bend. try to bend it. Let me tell you something. One day in an I remember it was a Detroit Detroit diesel. B16 is a cylinder in each bank, and uh, <laughs> the captain said the engine is running, but uh, it's misfiring. It's misfiring, and uh, you can accelerate maximum uh, 1500 RPMs, no more than this. If you accelerate more, it's down. And uh, the guys analyze the situation. And uh, one of the uh, technicians said to me, hey, Lopez, you want to go with me and my partner tomorrow to a boat in Fort Lauderdale? We have a problem that uh, we don't know what happened. Okay, I visit the boat. And yes, the boat is misfiring, the, the engine is misfiring. And uh, suddenly we decide, remove the fuel coming in into the two into the injectors, injector by injector, to verify where is the misfiring. You remember? That one, the misfiring increase. Okay, this is not. The other one increase. This is not. The other one increase. This is not. This is not. This is not. And suddenly, in the in the two back uh, injectors close to the transmission, you remove the injector. You remove. You lose the injector. Lose the injector. And uh, the vibration not change. Oh, those two cylinders are no work. Okay. They remove the injector, they remove the head, but uh, in the head, everything was good. When we remove the heads, both heads, with the star motor, because it's a big engine, we try to crank the crankshaft. We, we try to move the crankshaft, and we saw that uh, those pistons, no, the uh, 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 15 and 16, the other ones, the, the other pistons move it, and those last pistons stop. 
They don't now move. move it. And you move the crank shaft, you crank the crank shaft and the other pistons, and those last pistons no move. We decide to remove the oil pan and check in the button. And uh, when you, it's exactly the same like when you cut it, uh, bread with a knife. With a knife. Uh, the crank shaft was cut it here, like a, with a with a knife. And Some this this section not moving, and the rest of the crank shaft moving. Was cracked. Wow. Why? Because uh, some months ago, six months ago, this this piston was repaired because water entered in that cylinder. They removed the piston, they put the piston out, they hung the cylinder, they replaced the piston ring, they replaced the bearings on that uh, cylinder, yeah. and six months later, the, the crankshaft was cracked here. A stress, concentration of a stress in that area. You know, in the moment of the, 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 the crankshaft was bended. They don't remove the crankshaft, they only replace the bearing, replace the piston, but the engine continued running, but later the crankshaft was cracked. Do you understand the situation? Yeah. For that reason, it is possible always, always remove the crankshaft, clean the crankshaft, and send the crankshaft to a professional machine shop. Uh, when I say professional machine shop, I am talking about a, a machine shop with a dynamic balancer. You know the balancer used it in, in the wheels in automotive yeah. Yeah. when you change the tires? They put a the new tire and they they mount the tire in the machine. The machine spin the tire and where the, the, the wheel stop, they added weights, no? In yeah. to compensate, to balance the wheel. It's exactly the same. What is the idea? What elements are working together with the crank shaft? Number one. Oh, pistons and connecting rods. Okay, you need to send all the, the pistons according with the crank shaft to the, to the matching shop. What other element you need to send because it's together with this? Harmonic the balancer. The harmonic wheel. balancer, this one, and the flywheel. No? Excuse me. Harmonic balancer here and flywheel here. That's correct? Any other element is connected with the crank shaft running at the same speed all the time? Camshaft. No, the camp chap is no, 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 yeah. the camp chap is other elements separated. That's okay. Okay, you need send the crank chap, piston with connecting rods, bearings, and piston rings. Uh, harmonic balance, uh, flywheel, and harmonic balance, and they balance. You see the video in the in in the book and the video in the course about the procedure to to, to do the dynamic balance and they, they, they balance uh, the crankshaft. After that, probably they say, no, the harmonic balancer is not good, you need to replace the harmonic balancer, or your flywheel is... Wobbly. Exactly, it's not straight, it's not flat, uh, you need to change the, the, the flywheel, and uh, right now the, the, the system is balanced. When you put it back the system balanced, the result is completely different. You understand the meaning of that? Other thing, uh, when you receive the crank shaft, uh, it's a good idea, clean, clean, yeah, with some paper. Some paper, 800, 1000, 1200, in order to polish uh, the crank pins and the journals, uh, and in order to verify if uh, you have pores, in order to verify if you have cracks, and uh, clean, clean with the um, with the um, with the mystery oil. Uh, excuse me, with the mineral spirit. That's okay. This is very important. With some paper, all of them, polish like a mirror. All of them with some paper. Number one. Other important thing is this: all the bearings and uh, all all the bearings they have holes. You see. And that's, those holes are connected with the holes on the crank shaft. You have one hole connected with the cavities in the block, and other hole connected here, in front of this. That, you understand? 
when the oil enter coming from the oil pump you remember the video that i posted when the oil enter the oil enter in this group and after that enter here and pass over there look pass over there because because the holes are connected you see the the crank shop is hollow and create the film of oil everybody follow me mm -hmm. yes. all of those all of those holes are connected the oil circulate through the holes. Nice, no? It's a wonderful design. And it's connected with those grooves and it's connected with the cavities in the block. And finally connected with the oil pump. Pay attention. Suppose that you have this, uh, in this um, bearing. What is the meaning of that? It's, it's worn down, excessive wear. Wear, why? Is it called friction? Lubrication. Lack of lubrication. Yeah. Lack of lubrication. Pay attention. Suppose that this this one was here in this in this uh, cramping. Oh Mr. Lopez, I solve it. I clean that one, I clean the cramping, I replace the bearing for new ones. But uh, two weeks later, once again the bearing is where. Hey my friends, you verify in the crunch up that the cavities are free you pass the wire this is an indication that oil is not entering here where is coming the oil cavities. you know oh i don't know it, it's, it's hollow yeah <laughs> you see the hole there, that hole and you see the other hole in the block the oil enter here circulate over there pass through the crunch up lubricate all the bearings this one when you introduce the wire, oh, look at pieces of carbon. For that reason, that area was not properly lubricated. Anybody follow me? Yes. Clean all the cavities, all the cavities, and verify that the oil pass. Look, you see? Look at this. <laughs> he squirted me. Look at this, yeah, you see? Look, look. Yeah? Good? Is So if this one was uh, cramped up... Cramping, one make, one and this is main Jordan. Ones, if this was stopped up, wouldn't it, wouldn't it affect yeah. the stop this the other one? This one is up? connected with this, this one connected with this, and uh, this one... Okay. Yeah, so you see. wouldn't it affect this one then? Saying if there's a problem oh, here... This one, if this one stopped two? up, wouldn't it, wouldn't it stop? This would probably well, be these two. And this is not connected with this, you see? Oh yeah, it's connected, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know how is the, yeah. the configuration, but... Uh, but if this is stopped up, then this one could possibly be stopped up too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where does the oil enter from right here? Oh, the Which oil. Side? Look, the oil enter here in the main, in the first main journal, from here. Come on here, puppy. Pass over there, pass over there. The, the oil enter here, lubricate that one, and I start to lubricate the other one. The oil, the oil coming from the oil pump. This is the oil pump, look. That's the oil pump, you see? The oil pump, the oil enter over there, and enter in the first journal, pass through the other one. Yeah, this is, this is the idea. For that reason, you need to be 100% sure that those cavities are completely, completely free. Completely free. Look, this one is communicated also with the bearings of the cam chaff. Those are the bearings of the cam chaff. Yeah, and the other one, the other one. That's the secret, the lubrication. No, guys? You enjoy that? that yeah. That's clear for you? You need analyze. Hey, my friend, only in one cylinder, the bearings are where? The other cylinder is perfect. The problem is concentrated in that point. I need to verify what happened. The oil is not circulating. Okay, what situation produced that uh, those cavities are clogged? Why? Bad oil. Dirty oil. Okay, dirty oil, no? And uh, what other is, is, is the most common that uh, clogged? Water and oil. Of course, water in the oil. Carbon. Uh, additives. Additives, additives, additives. The additives 
What is the function of the additives? Why the people one day decide use additives? Uh, for the oil. But why? The oil. Because the people want more perform. More pressure. More pressure. Oh. More pressure. Yeah. You know? You remember yesterday? You you have three gauge. Oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge, and uh, what is the other one? Exhaust. Exhaust. Exhaust gases. Exhaust gas temperature uh, gauge, no? And uh, you say, oh, my oil pressure is down. Oh, let me check. Okay, it's not, no milky. Okay, no water, number one. Uh, let me flush the oil for other one. In the course, in the chapter of uh, lubrication, I'm going to explain a lot of tips about that. You replace the oil for fresh oil, well, probably the pressure increase a little, but two days later, once again, drops. And somebody said, put an additive, infinito, solution. Okay, what happened with the additives? What is the, what is the function of the additive? More pressure. No? Oh. Okay, more pressure, but mm -hmm. why? Why create? Makes because thicker. increase the viscosity. Uh -huh. It's heavy, no? The, uh, how those additives increase the viscosity? For example, you have a liquid, and you want to convert that liquid more vis with more viscosity, more like dense. thickness or what? Yeah, it's because you added gels. Yeah. Yes. When you added gels, what happened? Now the fluid is more? Viscous. Correct. But what happened with those gels? What happened with those gels when, uh, during the morning, in the winter, with low temperature? They freeze. Oh, it it's solid. It's solid. It's solid in the, in the oil pan. Yeah, yeah. What happened when you start the engine in the morning? Suction those gels. And what happened with those small cavities? Oh, oh, so the demonstration. That's the, reason, that's the reason why you normally have a, a preheat. Correct. Preheat is not for that. Let me explain something. Number one, later we are going to talk about that. I don't recommend, I don't recommend, Mr. Lopez, I don't know other, other, other authors, sorry. Uh, I don't recommend, yes, I don't recommend additives for oil. The secret is keep the oil clean change the oil in the intervals recommended by the manufacturers or, 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 or before. That's the recommendation. And other recommendation that I will get to you in the, in the next episode about the oils. But I don't recommend additives. In what, in what system I recommend additives? Fuel. fuel. In fuel? Cool. In fuel is good. In coolant, in cooling system, there are additives uh, for, uh, for the coolant. Uh, the ads, uh, additional uh, supplement, uh, uh, coolant supplement, so something like this. Uh, they improve the lubricity of uh, the coolant. This is good. But uh, in oil, no. In engine oil, no additives. In transmission oil, no additives. In transmission oils, those cavities are thinner than this. Thinner smaller like this cavities of oil what happened if you use gel with those small cavities Close. in the automatic transmission of your car the additives is at the end when the transmission is practically destroyed before no you don't need change the oil periodically change the filter keep the transmission and the engine with a good oil and you don't need additives okay great and don't forget the balance, the dynamic balance. Not all the matching shops, they have dynamic balancer. Oh, we have. Can I see your the balancer? Oh, this is not a dynamic balancer. The dynamic balancer have computer. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a balancer. Uh, not all the, the matching shops, they have dynamic balancer. Use matching shops for marine engines because the marine engines have a, a little different specification. It, it's basically the same engine, but uh, uh, there are matching shops specialized in, in marine engines. Okay, guys? Okay. Be careful with the harmonic balancer. What is the recommendation when you remove the harmonic balancer, guys? Use the proper extractor, the puller, the appropriate puller for a harmonic balancer. Don't try to remove the harmonic balancer with a puller external. Why not? 
because you destroy the rubber band in between the inner uh, and the external ring. Okay? Never try to use external. Use the proper puller, like uh, the puller that we use to remove, you remember, your harmonic balance. Okay, guys, this is, this is the situation. Okay, what we are going to do today? We are going to hunt the cylinders. Pay attention, because uh, we, we are uh, moving faster. We are going to, um, to hunt the cylinders. We are going to clean the crankshaft. We are going to put them back the crankshaft and put them back the pistons, and we are going to do plastic gauge. That's okay? Mm -hmm. Number one, we are going to hunt the cylinders. All the cylinder hunting. I have the tools. We are going to prepare condition to hunt the cylinders. Ready? After that, we are going to put them back the crankshaft with the journals and the cramp pins. Let me explain something about the, the procedure uh, to put them back uh, the pistons and, uh, and the crankshaft. Okay, we are going to, uh, number one, put them back the crankshaft only with the two externals, the two external journals, those two, those two external journals of the crankshaft. This one and the other one in the back. That's okay? All right, we put the crunch up, we lubricate the bearings with oil, press oil, and in the end, we rotate the crunch up. After that, we put other two journals. We tied a little, not complete, and we rotate. After that, we put other two journals, and we rotate. After that, we are going to torque, according with the specifications, all the journals for the crunch up. Always, always, Always Clock. rotating with your hand, rotating. What happened if in one moment, uh, stop? You can return off, was exactly in this point. When I tie this one, stop. Let me check. Oh, I put those caps Oops. for that reason, stop. You know, the process should be slow because you, you, you need to know in what moment I make a mistake. Ah, okay. All the caps are in the same direction with the arrow indicating in the same direction, all of them. And the crankshaft is, is free, is free. Okay, now I am going to start piston by piston. I introduce the piston, I put the cap, I tighten a little, rotate, good. Now I torque, good. Okay, one piston in one end and other piston in the other end. The same. This and this, this and this. You understand? Mm -hmm. pa, 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 pa. Always, always, always okay. rotating and always with a lot of oil. What happens if you put it back the crunch? Pistol, ba, ba, ba. And, the, and after that, you try to rotate. You know in what moment you make a mistake? You need to destroy, remove everything, and it starts slow, slow. Okay, what is the secret in this process? Is clean everything, clean, proper lubrication, clean area, and work together, my friends. I want to see the people working together, and the tools. You need good tools, no? Is clear? You need good tools, good sockets, good ratchets, heavy ratchets because those, this is not a Mickey Mouse engine. It's a heavy engine. Those small ratchets, no, this is not for this. This is to repair your bicycle in your home, but not for this. That's okay, guys? Okay, other thing. The school say that uh, we need a, a starting this afternoon, prepare for a, a, a storm tomorrow. Yeah, do you see the storm, mm -hmm. Agatha? No, rain is <laughs> lots of rain. A lot of rain and wind. Um, sorry, uh, for that reason, uh, we don't have class tomorrow morning. Okay? All right. But we are going to work hard today. Okay, guys? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You enjoy the class? Yes. yes. Enjoy the course? Okay. We are going to start. Number one, what is? Hunt the cylinders. And after that, we are going to put it back. Crunch up. In, following the procedure. Mm -hmm. And after that, piston. In the moment that uh, uh, we we will start to install the piston. I'm going to explain the procedure to install the piston and compress the, the piston.